All right. So unseen perfidy, <coughs> I was told in the comments of my video, made a video, replying to my video, and I was told he called me a liar. That's okay. I guess we have to see the details. That can mean a lot of things. Wasn't sure about that. Still not, because I haven't watched the video. But evidently, though he evidently took the video down, he put it back up, or maybe it was never down. I don't know. I don't pay that close attention, that fine granularity. Maybe it was always up, but somebody finally told me the name. Is this too loud? Okay. And, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, the video's up now, and I haven't watched it. And I'm about to watch it. I'm going to watch it in the editor and interject when the volume cuts down to zero at certain points. Uh, howdy, everyone. So, Piero314 did a 20 minute video. About the first six minutes of it are directed towards me. Um, and,. For those of you who were kind of not necessarily thrilled with my basically fuck off, I'm not going to bother responding to people, to uh, Piero and Ella sort of thing, because I view, view them as dishonest. Uh, Piero's video, hopefully, and my response to it will hopefully make you understand why I consider the both of them to be dishonest. Um, I, I honestly can't wait. I'm very excited about this. I just made a video to in, in reply to heavy traffic ahead's comments because I just, you know, I don't really object. I'm not going to ask anybody to denounce you for calling me dishonest, as insulting as that is and wrong. Because um, I'm sure that you're going to be wrong because I'm not dishonest. And if you turn out to have show something that oh, that looked dishonest. Oh yeah, you're not watching this. That looks dishonest. And I go, oh, yeah, it does kind of look dishonest. I'll do something about it. So I'm not worried about that. I think what I really want is if you're going to make that accusation to say why. So you did. So I'm glad this video is up. And why I don't really feel the need to waste my time with people who, in Piero's case at least, will openly lie. Um, okay, first of all... I didn't. I have not openly lied, and so I, I like to. I will guess as to what you might be getting at, having not seen the rest of the video yet. I'm guessing I characterize you. You think in some way that isn't true, and that's a lie. But to be a lie, I would have to not believe what I said, or I would have to misrepresent some other facts. So that's what I'll be looking for. And also, I don't really think you can change your excuse for not talking about the issues. Okay, not talking about the Philippines, not talking about Drake versus not not continuing that. You are under no obligation to do so. But that's what we were supposed to do and you have a reason for not doing it that is an excuse. And I don't think you should change the excuse because you don't even need an excuse. You can just say I don't feel like it. That would be fine with me. Piero, in the first six minutes of his video, which I'll link to down below, uh, says that he thinks the reason why I blocked him is because he brought up the Philippines in a PM to me. No, I did not say. I did not say. I think that's the reason. Okay, so this is what it's going to be okay. Is there going to be something else? I still wonder. I did not say. I think that's the reason. I speculated it because I do not believe that you ask everybody to denounce people that have hurt your feelings on an interweb on the interwebs. I don't believe that. So I get to think of what it might really be. And I think you might be afraid of a discussion. Because if, as I assume, we are all here for discussion, and you don't want to have it, and you're coming up with excuses even after we've started one, I think those sound like excuses. And I did not say that was the reason. And if you listen closely, I could take the clips from my video and would say, it would be very much a speculation and, and, and maybe because how could you win that? It's a fair speculation for me. It's also a way for me to bring up the Philippines anyway, even though you copped out. I told you so you could say, no, I don't really want to talk about that because I think you're in an awkward position in it. On the other hand, I could argue the it was successful position. Of course, I would take the out of, well, military success, but morally abominable. That's what I would do. But there's other ways to go. I'm curious how it would turn out. Or was, or whatever. 
not too curious now because I, if you're not eager to like make those descriptions and arguments then how good could it have turned out had you been willing um I, I don't see any reason to expect that it would have been stunning had I convinced you to do it. You had the opportunity. You chose not to. Now you're trying to, well, let's see. How do you call that? Um, outright lying. Let's see. Because I don't read your mind. I can speculate on what your reasons are. I don't have to believe the shit you say. Uh, even though I flat out told him why I didn't want to respond to him. It's because he and Ella have been carrying water for a racist pro-rape apologist. Oh yeah, here's the thing, Unseen Perfidy. I don't believe that. Because I haven't been carrying any water for Frank. I've not said shit about Frank. I happen to support Snowden and Manning like Frank does, and you think you can go, therefore? Well, I don't think that way. I think... we. We have individual positions. I try not to mix up what you said with what Skep said and so on. I'm not carrying water for Frank. That's where you're absolutely wrong. And that, in every way, wrong. Factually and ethically wrong, as far as I'm concerned. By my opinion, you can have your own opinion. But I think that since there is absolutely no water carrying, I don't know Frank any better than you you know, Franks, um, who has repeatedly and openly and admittedly lied about my positions on multiple issues. Um, and I said, you know, unless you're going to, you know, since you both have jumped in in this, con jumped in this conversation on his side, unless you're going to be like, yo, Franks, you know, stop fucking lying. I don't want anything to do with you. And I'm not going to consider you honest or consider you people who actually want to have an actual conversation on these issues. The thing is, I don't know that he's lied about you. I don't, I don't know that. And you're saying I'm lying about you. And in my case, it is that I am guessing and characterizing because I don't believe the shit you're telling me. I don't believe the reason you're telling me. But you could be that sensitive, and that's why it was speculation. Maybe you're just really sensitive and you think you can make these kind of demands between two strangers. You can ask me to denounce somebody I don't know hardly anything about, have barely watched his videos, just recently in this same conversation with you, and you, I barely watched your videos, but I've known you from a previous handle a lot longer. That is not an, I'm not in a position, see, if somebody working for me, I might have to denounce them because I'm expected to know them and about them, make a judgment. Uh, you're calling this a lie that, yeah, I, I think that you didn't want to have the conversation for something having to do with the conversation. That's my provisional theory. I don't think it's because I wouldn't denounce someone. I think people that really do are all sensitive, like, no, I need people to denounce my enemies. I believe those people in general are using that as a shell when they want to avoid talking about the issue. I've seen you talk at length to Gary and I have talked at length to Gary. I know how Gary acts. And so I'm pretty sure you're full of shit that you have these high picky standards. But maybe, maybe you're just a, just, just kind of whiny and expecting to be coddled or something. Okay, that seems like if I was going with that theory, that would be more insulting. But whatever, maybe that's the, if, if you really are saying you think that I'm going at some point maybe to just go through Ella's videos again because I remember them as very reasonable, right? And the weirdest thing is that I thought that you would be the one to, you know, r rage quit or just not engage at all. You started off being really rude about everything, about the conversation. And I thought that was going to happen. And that would go, well, here's the real issue. Try this on for size if you're so smarty pants. And he bailed on that and you were like, yeah, well, here's what I think, here's what I think. And I respected that and responded in kind and then you're going to quit because, oh, wait a second, wait a second. You have to denounce this person. I don't know Franks. And since both of them refuse to do this, they can go fuck themselves and that's my current stance. 
But Piero now is joining Franks, um, unlike Ella at least, is joining Franks in the pure, the pure I'm just going to make shit up camp. Uh, you need to pay closer attention. I didn't make shit up. I think you were avoiding conversations with me. You were eager, and I said, hey, here's this conversation. So that's possible. There are other possibilities as well. You are not the final sayer in a discussion like this of who and what we will think of your motivations. Just like you cast motivations on others, so we get to cast them on you. Welcome to the fucking internet. I don't know where... It, you, have you been just... Is this a general thing? You're in a block shell and you've managed to not meet the internet yet? I don't have to take your word as the gospel. Okay, I'm not supposed to. This would be boring if that's how it worked. I mean, it's... Okay, go ahead. Is it... How, how much longer? Okay, I guess I gotta let you play longer. Um, and he basically claims, or at least says that he thinks, aka is asserting, that I blocked him because he brought up the Philippines. Um, okay, here's what I actually thought. Okay, since you want to do this, oh, uh, denounce somebody, I thought you're fair game too then. You're going to call my character into question for a lame thing like that? Then I can goad you. What, you scared about talking about the Philippines? Because in reality, I think you're interested in talking about the Philippines. And yet, I was correct that it will be a hard conversation for you to explain how success means the same thing as good. Right? And I think that would be fun. And if you're willing to take that side, well, that should be great. If you bow it out, I don't know what, why I should believe it has to do with this other thing all of a sudden. And again, if it does, it makes you look worse because that kind of demand is petty and childish, right? Just argue about the Philippines or of course people are going to go, oh, you're too afraid to deal with a hard subject. Believe me, calling that a successful campaign is a hard subject, especially with somebody that has already raised the specter of we're allowed to talk values. Because materially, there is a bare argument that it was successful as a counterinsurgency. But morally, there is no such argument. So, yeah. And if you weren't really trying to escape that, well, I mean, your actions draw that criticism. So deal with it. 